Uh, welcome to my life in cat butts in my face. <laughs> okay, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. She's not moving. <laughs> She's not moving. Oh, nitty. You're funny. You're funny. Well, welcome to my life with cats and a dog who's sleeping by the door. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Melissa. I'm pretty sure you know that um, because you're here. Um, thank you for being here, first of all. Um, it's, a, it's exciting times in my life, starting a Patreon and doing my first monthly, get out of here, <laughs> uh, doing my first monthly art recap. Um, yeah, so just a little bit about me before we get started. And you've probably already read this and probably already know this, but um, my name is Melissa, and I'm an independent, I'm going to read my bio, okay? <laughs> it's going to be weird. I'm going to read it, though. Um, I'm an independent self-taught artist, illustrator, and graphic designer living and working in the beautiful Harborfront neighborhood of Toronto with my partner, Ray, and our three fur babies, Simon, Knit, and, uh, Knit, and Pearl. I'm currently obsessed with painting landscapes en plein air, and I have a vision in my head of how I want them to look, and I'm not there yet, and you're going to follow me on my journey as I do that, as I learn, as I get there. Um, I also recreate album cover art while Ray plays house music on Twitch during our weekly art disco live streams. It's a good time. Um, welcome to my first monthly art recap video. Let's get started. Hopefully without a cat in my face. I'm sure she'll be back. <laughs> yeah. All right, how do we want to do this? Let's uh, just go chronologically. I'm not going to do so this is this is going to be a long this is going to be a longer one than um, normal. So the first one is going to be uh, <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> let's let's get started. Um, I'm going to go back all the way to the beginning of my plane air. Uh, journey, which started on May the 12th during a camping trip to Owen Sound in Ontario. Um, I started, actually, I'll show you my little, my little Pashad Pasha box. Um, it's an old cigar box that I picked up at a um, little uh, vintage shop down, oh, where's my camera? Okay, I gotta get used to this. <laughs> um, yeah, no, how do I do that? That's weird. Okay, anyway, here we go. Here, here. Okay. Okay. Edit that. <laughs> and here's my Pashad box. Yay. Um, yeah. So I thought for sure I was going to use this as my, like, take this outside. It has my paints and everything inside of it. I can use the, um, it's the, it's a magnetic whiteboard and I can use that as a palette. Um, spoiler alert, that didn't last very long. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you, um, what I moved on to after I show you my first painting. Um, I'll pop some close-ups um, like over here. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out in edit. Um, so this is our little cabin that we stay at at the KOA in Owen Sound. Um, it's like our home away from home and we just love going there. And this is done with gouache just using um, a relatively limited color palette. The cat's back. <laughs> um, I like it. I, I sat um, just outside with my paints and I chilled with Simon as, uh, as I painted this one. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a little bit messy, uh, but all in all for a first outdoor painting experience, um, it was good. It was fun. I liked it. Um, same trip. Um, so this was up at uh, Tobamori. Um, so we're, we're on, um, this was May 10th. Here we go. Uh, this is uh, Tobomori at the Grotto. So the Grotto is like this really nice place uh, with these ancient rock formations and stuff like that. Um, and there's a natural grotto I've never been in. I get a little uh, weird around the wet rocks and stuff walking, walking here, side note. Um, but this was done with watercolor. So for my birthday, Ray's mom gave me um, a little bit of money and I treated myself to a nice little um, Roman smalls watercolor um kit and it's perfect colors for landscape so i thought i was going to use gouache for spoiler alert 
uh, all my plein air pieces. Uh, but it turns out I fell in love with this watercolor. <laughs> um, yeah, and so uh, this was my second one. And then what was next after that? Oh yeah, I did, I'm gonna go just in order. I have a list uh, here that I'm gonna go through and I'll pop up um, images as, as we go, uh, just a little, as they relate to the days. So on May 14th, we did an art disco on Twitch and I did a commission of the Ohio Players Honey album. So I will put that right here, right here. <laughs> um, so that was, that was fun. And then on the 15th of May, we were back outside at the park across the street. Um, and I did this um, one. I'm not, uh, I'm not super happy with it. Again, I think it's a little bit messy. With these ones, I'm not sketching anything. I'm just using the paint to kind of block in the colors and then add some shading and stuff, but it's okay. It's my third, my third plein air um, piece. So that's good. Um, after that, we did another art disco on um, Saturday night. And this time I did a uh, album cover for my brother. He was showing me, or he's asking me how I make my custom vans. So I have a couple of custom vans that I put my artwork on. Um, shoes which are really fun it's fun you should try it it's really fun and he wanted to put this album cover of his favorite band and his favorite album um and it's this it's this uh like hardcore punk band from i think they're from montreal ottawa montreal area um called uranus so i'm gonna pop that one up here <laughs> i made that for him uh it was fun it's just very very graphic um yeah he liked it he, he was very happy i mailed it down to him in San Francisco. Um, and then on the 21st of May, no, I'm sorry, on the 23rd of May, um, we were back outside for some plein air painting. And I did this one at Trillium Park, which is just like a seven minute walk to the west of us. And it's a beautiful, beautiful new park in downtown Toronto, right on the lake, um, right on the edge of Lake Ontario. But I really like this one. I love the, the water, the details. I like the trees in the background rocks which are literally the hardest thing in the world to paint good <laughs> um yeah i uh i i was really happy when i did this one um yeah that was a success um after that the next day actually we were back outside for some more um painting so when we sit outside um it's me Ray and Simon, the dog, and we take a blanket for Simon so he doesn't try to um, eat everything on the ground. If he's on a blanket, he just chills and like looks around and whatever. And Ray uh, takes a little like music kit out with him. And sometimes he prepares music for if he's doing a show or a gig, or he'll just like mix there using his iPad and stuff. And it's really fun. So there's always music. Uh, there's always music in our life. But this is from the music garden, which is just uh, like, just almost basically out our front door, a little bit to the east of us. Um, and there's a marina there called Marina Key West. Um, and so we sat, uh, we sat there. This here is like the music garden and then this is the marina. So they're like side by side by side. Um, and I painted boats for the first time. Um, not the last time, <laughs> but definitely the first time. Uh, and boats are hard both are really hard getting the perspective on them and then like as they're all lined up in a row you can see back here i kind of just left out a whole bunch and made up that oh yeah there's just trees right there there's not just trees right there there's a whole bunch more boats <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch more lake and then there's trees but whatever it's fine um so this one i would call this one a success and that was on the 25th of may um on uh, the she's back. <laughs> um, on the 28th of May, we did Art Disco again, and I did another commission piece um, of an Anita Baker album cover, which I'll put right here. And that was fun. Um, sometimes I make reels of my um, album cover remakes, and where I just, you know, capture like little bits um, of, I use the Posca markers. Um, and I just kind of capture little like one second clips and string them together and then do the final reveal on Instagram and they go over really well, actually. Um, okay. And they're, uh, they're pretty fun. Um, uh, next is May 29th. Uh, we were back at Trillium Park and we sat kind of up 
on a hill in this shady area. It's a little bit secluded from everything. Um, with So one of the nice things about Trillium Park is like, it's just naturally landscaped um, as if it were like the original land as intended. Um, she's back. And uh, this one, like, it's obviously wild. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm not like, I'm not super happy with it because I don't think that there's a lot of definition between the greens, like the trees and the bushes and there was some flowers and then like there's a fence back in here. Um, I think it's okay. I think um, as I go, I can do better. But I do really like this rock right here. I think that rock is pretty successful. <laughs> and Nitty, okay, let's go. Uh, oh, the next day on May 30th, I did a fun drawing prompt from Sophie McPike's Patreon. If you're not um, aware of Sophie McPike, I'll link her Instagram below and you can check out her fabulous art. But her Patreon is also one of my favorite places in the world. Um, and she's actually inspired me to be here. So yay. <laughs> um, but her prompt was to do um, like using analog material to make an animation. So I opted to make a dandelion animation. Uh, I was thinking of my sister who loves dandelions. Um, so I did uh, did a couple of pan panels to make an uh, animation. So I'll show you the individuals and then I'll pop the final animation up on screen. So it kind of shows it going into bloom and then it shows it um, going out of bloom. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's cute. It's really cute. I think it's cute. That might be a little bit out of order. I don't know, but I'll pop that in. I'll pop the animation up on screen, uh, and then you can have a look at it. But that was really fun. That was really fun. Um, and then after that, we were oh, art disco. We did uh, another art disco, and I did uh, Kate Bush's album cover, um, "Hounds of Love," because Stranger Things just came out, and that song "Running Up the Hill" is everywhere. So that's what I did on the 30th of May, that's a lie, on June 4th, <laughs> that was June 4th. Um, okay, okay, I missed one. Oh, I see what happened. Um, this is a, a plein air piece from the music garden and I Think it's not on my list because I didn't like it. <laughs> um, this tree is okay, this willow tree. I love willow trees, but I have yet to figure out how to paint them. But I do not like, what is this purple blob back here? I can't, I can't, I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, let's put that one aside. Um, and then next we went to Trillium Park again. Um, and I did this one. Um, I like it, I think I like it. Uh, I like the trees and I like the detail in the water. Um, it's kind of, I use like a dry brushing um, with watercolor and I think it, uh, it makes it look like it's like, like water. <laughs> it's fun. Um, but I think my favorite part, oh no, I like the sky. I think my favorite part of this one is the sky. Um, what's that? Then I did a uh, painting. Um, my friend Bree went up somewhere she went camping and she does um was that paddle boarding paddle boarding and she put, um, put this picture up on instagram and it looked like the most peaceful serene setting and she was just there on her paddle board standing up and just everything about it was beautiful so i was like i gotta paint that for you <laughs> um so i painted that for her um yeah uh and she was very happy about it um, next is, ooh, an urban sketch. So let me uh, open up. Is that the one I'm thinking of? <laughs> no. Okay, I'll show you this one just because it's it's ridiculous. This is like, that's a ridiculous one. Um, a little bit of a panorama from same day as when we were, the first time I painted boats over at the marina. But let me show you. Let me show you what we did on uh, June the 8th. So I painted this, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, this tugboat. And then this is uh, obviously Toronto back here, but this is um, an urban sketch 
So sometimes when I sit outside and it's a little um, more of an urban setting, less of like a nature-y setting, I will um, pull out my sketchbook and I'll do an urban sketch um, instead of a plein air piece, which is basically the same thing. It's just here. It's just obviously it's a bit of a different style. Um, equally, equally fun. Sometimes I like the urban sketch better than the plein air, and sometimes I like the plein air better than the urban sketch, but it really, um, the setting dictates. I don't dictate, the setting tells me <laughs> what to do. Uh, then I did an oil pastel of Calendar Bay, which I think I have, it. dropping everything, um, right here. So this is um, my cousin, where are we? My cousin lives in Calendar. Um, which is a tiny little town in northern Ontario and we've um, been there to visit her a couple of times and I love this calendar bay um, so I painted this a few times and uh, yeah I love oil pastels I don't use them a lot right now but I think I I need to I need to um, I need to keep using them um, but yes oil pastels are so fun I don't know if you've ever used them but um they're just so nice and fun and scribbly <laughs> Uh, then we're back to the music garden, to that majestic willow tree. Oh yeah, there's another plein air, uh, not an uh, oil pastel of my grandma's garden. My favorite thing I've ever made in my entire life behind me. <laughs> um, trying to, so this one um, was June the 12th and I tried to capture this willow tree again and I still, I did not succeed. <laughs> in my opinion, I did not succeed. Um, on Oh, I'm going to skip past these ones, but this is a, this is a fun, colorful page right here. I like that. I like these flowers. Uh, not so much on the other side. That one, uh, if I could rip pages out of my sketchbook, which I am not allowed to do, I would rip that one out. Um, so on June the 13th, I did an urban sketch. Um, and this is we're sitting at the marina. Sorry, one, one of these days I'll get it. We were sitting at the marina um, just over at the music garden at Marina Key West. And this is Toronto Island. Um, the airport, there's, a, there's an airport straight across the street from me, is like right here. And then this is like right beside that. So eventually I figure I'm going to paint the entire like view of the island from, from Toronto. Um, Toronto Islands is just like a little series of islands uh, in the middle of Lake Ontario that we can literally take a five minute water taxi across to. Um, but I really like this one. I really like, I really like the trees and the depth that I was able to get in the trees. Um, I like the sky. It represents, I think, the sky as it really truly was. Um, and then just these like little buildings and details and stuff. I think this, I think this is a really successful urban sketch for me. Good job. <laughs> um, the that's not that's not true. Okay. Okay. Yes. So the next day we went we went back, and this is June the fourteenth. And so we were sitting on the same bench. It was a two sided bench, and then we turned around. So this is what you see when you look south out across the water to the island. And then this is what you see when you look north uh, toward the city. So this is the music garden here. This is the marina. Um, and this is my urban sketch of that setting. And I don't like it. I think the water is way too dark and like gloomy. Um, and it's just all a bit messy. On June the 15th, we went over to Toronto Island. Uh, and first thing that I painted after Simon went swimming, maybe I'll pop a little reel up of him going swimming because he's very cute, <laughs> um, is I did an urban sketch of, this is a little um, petting zoo that you can see. There's like a little, um, a little lake here. And then we we're sitting on like a field of grass under trees in the shade. Um, and then there's like a little horse. I tried to capture the horse he's like eating here. Um, and then, yeah, so this is, uh, I think this is cute. I think this, uh, I think this worked out. Um, happy with that. And then right after I finished that one, I did this one of a tree, just when I kind of turned myself around and looked the other way. Um, this is, uh, 
there's a lot of like purpley dark colors in there and so I don't know I think I need like maybe I let my paint dry or it didn't mix I think I still need to work on how to paint um, trees <laughs> but that's okay um, on the 18th of that's not true on the 16th of June June 16th uh, we went across the street to the park um, and then I painted this urban sketch of the Toronto malting silos uh, it's just these this big um, historic building beside beside us uh, just across the street and I like this one I think this one's really good I think I got like the decrepitness of the building quite well <laughs> and um, this willow tree I think is probably the best willow tree that I've painted so far uh, still could be better but it's okay I like I like this one I like this piece now the next day no yes the next day that i painted <laughs> was june the 18th and i went um with my friend susie and her boyfriend and her dog prince and simon to coronation park which is um you have to walk through coronation park to get to trillion park <laughs> um and i did this i did this piece which i'm really happy with um i think the trees are quite good I like the saturation in the water and how I differentiated um, the two. There's a little marina here, which uh, houses sailboats. So you can see one right there uh, between the trees. And then uh, I really like how I captured the shadows on the grass. Um, I think that's really successful and I think it, I think it shows well. So I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with this piece here. On the 19th of June, I don't know if these days are helpful, but it helps me to organize. <laughs> uh, we went back and saw the tugboat again um, at the at the marina. Um, and I think this one's really cute. I like it. Uh, I think that that red like it just pops really, really nicely. And my uh, watercolor does not have black in it. So all of this black here that you see is just like me mixing until I get a nice dark color. So it's actually kind of almost um, more purple than this one here is more purple and then this one reads more as uh, black but again it's it's not black it's all just mixing watercolor um, which I think is cool this is my pen so that is actually black <laughs> uh, yeah but I like this um, this tugboat actually is um, I don't know I haven't really watched a lot of it but uh, the Handmaid's Tale um, this this boat features in the hand Handmaid's Tale so I don't know any spoilers or anything to give I just one of the guys that we know um who saw me painting it told kind of told me a story and he works on that boat um so I'll <laughs> that is is, is kind of neat um on June 21st we went back to Coronation Park and I painted probably my favorite to date plein air piece um I just think this is really nice. I like the sailboats and how I captured the sailboats. Um, and then how there's a couple in the background, the little trees here. Um, I think there's some good depth in the trees. Um, and my dad actually on Facebook, he, uh, he asked if he could have this one. So this one is earmarked uh, hold for dad, <laughs> uh, which I think is really cute. Um, on the 23rd of june actually let me uh let me show you this one first i didn't uh i didn't post this one on instagram or anything because uh i didn't like it at the time i just thought it was like a big mess of green but looking at it now i can see differentiation in the color and stuff and this is again at the park across the street down toward the back this is like a kids play park area back behind this fence here um but i i liked the bush and i liked the flowers in the bush um yeah, so this is uh, just an urban sketch that never saw the light of day. <laughs> and then on uh, the 23rd of June, we went back to the marina and I did this urban sketch. Um, these are these are uh, tiki taxis. These are water taxis. Um, they're obviously not in use right here, but uh, they take you across to the island. So there is a big ferry that you can take, um, but the lineup is long. It's a little further away from for us and we just prefer to take the water taxi because the tiki taxi specifically not the pirate taxi don't go on the pirate taxi only take the tiki taxi <laughs> um yeah but uh this was perspective on this one i found quite difficult um let me just move knit 
it's usually Pearl that comes um, when I'm like doing art and stuff and she likes to sit on the right directly on top of my paintings <laughs> but uh, knit is uh, knit is with us today so yeah um, this bun was nice and I tagged the TC taxi on my Instagram post and they shared it which was cool then on June 25th I did an art disco um, a commission again for a friend of Gary Clark Jr. So I'll pop that up here. I don't know Gary Clark Jr. Um, apparently he's the new Jimi Hendrix. Uh, but yeah, it was a, it was a fun one. Okay, and then I um, I've been working on this project for um, I'm illustrating um, kind of a blog post that my aunt wrote about her experience dealing with cancer in hospitals and getting the service um that that she needed oh, that goes all my paintings <laughs> they're all out of order it doesn't matter okay you gotta go um and i've been thinking about it for a long time and i've been kind of stuck thinking about it for a long time but i've been getting some library books um on illustration from the library, obviously. Um, and the first book I got was a Mary Blair um, book. It was a, like a little kid's book, a story about her uh, her life. And it was all collage. I was like, oh, that's really cool. So I did my first collage. Um, and I decided to base it off of my aunt's photos because she was a fantastic photographer who loved to um, take pictures of birds and squirrels and people and everything. So this is uh, this is the first one that I did, which I think is really cute. Um, yeah, just a little, just a little bird. It was really cute. And then I did a digital version of it too, which I'll show you here. Um, well, we're here. Maybe I'll just go through all the, the little collage pieces. So this is her cat, Harrison. Um, she used to take her cat. She's no longer with us. Um, <laughs> not gonna cry. <laughs> um, this is her cat, Harrison, and she used to take him out for walks on a leash and she, um, <laughs> Uh, like sometimes he would just refuse to move. And so it was more like sitting outside with a cat on a leash than walking, but he, uh, he was a trooper. Um, and I think this is really cute. I really had fun with the, like with these little flowers and everything. Um, and I made all of the collage paper too. I, uh, I did all, all of the painting on the paper. Um, and then the last one that I have, um, is this is a gazebo that she used to sit at. Um, all the time and she used to um, feed squirrels and birds and bring like little props and stuff so she would bring out like little minions and then surround surround them with peanuts so that it looked like the squirrels were talking to minions <laughs> stuff it was really cute um but yeah there's there's that one too um yeah okay Then on June 27th, we went back to Toronto Island and I did this um, plain air painting. Um, I did an oil pastel of this scene. I guess it was last early in the spring based on a photo that I would have taken last year. I'll maybe pop that up too. But um, again, with all this green, it's really hard to differentiate um, green from green from green. So, <laughs> um, but I, I like it. I think this is okay. I think it's, it's not bad. I'll get better. <laughs> I will get better. Um, okay, let's go into, so this is my, like, I've had this sketchbook since 2015 and it sat dormant for a long time. Um, but one time when I was at the art gallery of Ontario, the AGO, um, I got a book on the group of seven, which is a beautiful art book that just shows, um, art from the group of seven who is like, I don't know if you are familiar with the group of seven. I wasn't really, I've heard of them before, but I hadn't really um, learned about them or like knew very much about them. But they, when Canada was newly formed country, they were a group who said, we're going to show you what Canada actually looks like. And so they went out and did a whole bunch of plein air painting of all of the like remote, mostly remote um, settings of Canada. And so I've been doing off and on some um, just kind of studies of of them and so um, like doodles recreating some of the photos and also drawing a lot of faces. <laughs> uh, yeah, but these are really fun, really super fun to do. And I'm just using um, this limited color palette here, which is like all that I use right now when it comes to color pencil and neo color twos. Um, so that was fun. 
Um, let me, while we're here, because there's a couple, there's a couple pages. So these are a few more studies um, that I did, which are, which are really fun. Uh, different days. I don't, this is me using Neo Color 2s for the first time. <laughs> Just a big scribbly mess. Yeah, okay. Um, and then on June 11th, I went way far outside of my comfort zone and I did a live painting um, event. So there's a there's an event called Twitch in real life that happened. It was a two day event and I was part of the Sunday of it and they had um the biggest um house music djs from toronto and they even brought in some um, big names from new york and miami um and i had this big uh three foot by three foot canvas that i was doing um kind of an andy warhol recreate uh recreation but um of an mf doom painting so it was like nine blocks of mf doom's face which is ray's favorite uh rapper hip-hop artist mc i don't know however you classify it. Um, yeah, so it's Ray's birthday present, um, which I'm still working on, but little bit by little bit, it's getting more and more done, but I'll um, pop a video up here so that you can kind of see what the event was like and everything. Uh, it was fun, it was really fun. <laughs> I had fun. Um, and then more doodles. And then I made a little comic um, because it's summer in Toronto and summer in Toronto is hot and I sweat a lot. So here's my little comic that I made, which I thought was really cute. I used to make a lot of comics. Um, I'll link below to a series of comics that I made when I was working at Starbucks. Um, they're just like really cute kind of inside Starbucks um, <laughs> comics, which uh, I still get a kick out. Okay. Um, this is just something in my sketchbook that I don't remember when I painted it, but it's there and I'm just gonna show you. Um, I did this in here this is another group of seven painting i did this based off the one that i had in my sketchbook so um this is using um watercolor yes and neo color twos and color pencil i'm trying to think if it's gouache it might be gouache this is gouache um i got a new uh four color gouache set um not jelly gouache <laughs> which I had been using before. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. Um, yes. And then, so I did this, uh, this is a, I did this here, so I didn't do this on location or anything. So it's not technically an urban sketch. It's just a, just a painting. <laughs> um, but I really love this one. I love it. Um, what I did with this one, I did it completely different than I've, that I've made anything is I did the gouache. So I did like the big blocks of color first. Um, kind of creating a little bit of uh, negative space and stuff. So all of the gouache layers I did first. And then I came in with some Neo Color 2s, um, which are water soluble wax pastels, which is really, really weird, but they're they're super fun. Um, and the colors are, are really nice. Uh, the colors that I got are really nice. And then I did some um, color pencil details um, on top of it, but I love, I love this one. I love it very happy with that um then on the 14th of july okay we're making progress um i did an urban sketch and this is at a park a little bit more to the east of us still walking distance everything is walking distance here um except for the first ones where we were, camp where we were camping but this is the first time i included people um in my urban sketch and there's a lot more of them sitting here they're like all sitting in a circle so there's probably about 10 of them but i just put in uh, i just put in these four you can kind of see the one guy back there and this i used um i used watercolor and neo color twos and and color pencils prismacolor color pencils um and i think this one's fun i think it's a little bit messy but i think it goes with the with the style and i wasn't trying to be neat i was just trying to get it done before these people moved and they did move before i was finished but i guess that's just the nature of painting people in public <laughs> Um, on July the 16th, I did uh, a Randy Crawford album cover um, here. I did that. We were part of a raid train on Twitch. So we combined it with our disco because it was on a Saturday. Um, and the guy whose birthday it was that we were all celebrating, um, he only had one album on his Instagram feed. And so it was Randy Crawford. Do you know who Randy Crawford is? 
I don't know who Randy Crawford is, um, but I painted her album cover. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then on the 17th of July, we were back at the marina um, and I did another plein air piece of the of Toronto Island. So this right here is technically the airport. So this is where the planes come in. They come in and then they land here. So this is the landing strip um, for um, Porter Airport. And then this is a little yacht club over here, which you'll see more of in a sec. Um, and then and then this, but I'm really happy with how the trees and the water are on this, um, and also the shading on this building. This this is quite this is quite a successful one. <laughs> uh, I like it. And then the next day, um, we were kind of back there, but again a little bit further down at the HTO Park. Um, and then this kind of like you can see if I were to put these side by side it's like a continuation of the landscape so i think eventually i'll be able to like do the whole landscape <laughs> uh, but i think this one's good too i like it i like the color in the sky um it was like a nice kind of pinky pinky color so that was good the trees i like the definition in the trees i think i did a really good job there um and then the water is really nice too i think and here i added in just a little bit of neo color twos for some texture so a little bit on the water um Oh, right. So these are not watercolor. I'm so sorry. These are using my new um, Windsor Newton gouache um, set that I got. Uh, I just got like a red, blue, yellow, and then uh, ochre. No, a burnt sienna and a white. So just using uh, simple colors like that, I started doing that. So I'm back on the gouache train for uh, plein air painting, even though watercolor still comes out with me. But I've been I've been loving I've been loving using the gouache. Um, yes, uh, and then Tuesdays we have, um, we have a group hang on Discord where um, I doodled, oh, let me come back over here. Uh, I doodled this, which was really fun. Did I miss this? At some point, my friend Susie and I went to the AGO again, the Art Gallery of Ontario. And we sat down um, and did a group of seven um, painting drawing. So I did this one, she did hers digitally. Um, and then I did the, we, we were just walking and saw the statue. Um, and so we did a couple of quick doodles um, there. But yeah, uh, this is all using like the same um, color palette using Prismacolor color pencils and Neo Color 2s. I'll pop the video up here of our, I have a reel of our, of our fun day at the art gallery. <laughs> uh, then on the 22nd, no, on the 21st of July, uh, we were back at Coronation Park and I did this plein air piece using the gouache again of, uh, of the marina. This is the other side of the airport. So I have yet to do the airport. I don't know that I will, cause it's not very fun. It's not very attractive. It's just a bunch of gray buildings. <laughs> um, but I really like these sailboats and I liked how they all had red sails. So there's other sailboats in this marina, but all three of these were like lined up in a row um, and they all had red sails. So I don't know if that's a coincidence or I don't know if that's on purpose, but I liked it. <laughs> and I think this one came out really good. Um, very happy with, with how this one came out. And that's the last plein air piece that I've done um yeah um next is more um discord doodle hangs no next is this um mess <laughs> of an urban sketch urban sketch doodle maybe we'll call it an urban sketch doodle um we couldn't find a nice place to sit at the music garden and this is kind of in the wetlands area there's this little um area where there's like a big birdhouse and a creek that is pretty dry these days um but it was really buggy to sit here. And so I tried to just get get everything done as quickly as possible so that we could get up and go. <laughs> like the bugs were just attacking my legs. Um, but I like it. I used gouache and Neo Color 2s and colored pencils and just made a scribble mess. But I think I think it's cute. <laughs> um, yes, and then uh, I did some more doodles. So these are from a Discord hang and we did a map crunch so this is um these top ones here are from mauritius a nice little um 
island. I don't know where it's from. My cousin, uh, my cousin's wife is from there. And then these um, are doodles based on photos from my uncle's garden. So he posted this one on Instagram. I was like, oh, I knew immediately that I had to, I had to put this one in my sketchbook. Um, I'm very happy with how it came out. And then um, these were just two other ones that he had on his uh, Instagram. So um, yeah, that was it. And I used the same color palette um, as the uh, uh, group of seven studies. Yes. Um, and that brings us up to date. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else kind of hanging around that uh, is kind of newish art, but I don't think so. There is one. Um, so this is, uh, cover my face. This is an acrylic painting that I did just on a canvas board. Um, and this is of the music garden and the CN Tower in the background there. Um, just a kind of nothing else to do that day. So I decided uh, to play with my acrylic paints. Um, yeah, that is everything. <laughs> it's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, thank you uh, so much. But what I wanted to do, oh no, let me show you one more thing. One more thing. Okay. So my cousin, um, Emily, asked me if I could do, uh, make like a header for a newsletter that she's starting. Um, she's going to be going to Norway to uh, live there for a time. She was there this year already. She um, at like a youth mission type thing. Um, so she asked me if I could take a photo that she had of herself um, and make a make a painting of it. And she really likes my plein air style. So I kind of broke it up into two pieces and I'll pop the final um, up. But uh, imagine that she is kind of sitting like right here, but I'll pop it up so that you can see the final. But I think it's cute. I think it's really cute. And I did a lot of Photoshop work on it too. So I, um, First, I didn't like the sky. I thought it got a little bit too muddy. So then I repainted the sky. But then when I put it into Photoshop, I ended up liking the original sky better, but I knocked the opacity back on it so it wasn't quite so strong. And I think it works really well. Um, and then I also, um, on her poor little face here, I moved her mouth down and I gave her a nose, a digital nose <laughs> in Photoshop. Um, that I think is everything. Yes, that is everything. Um, I'm going to pick my favorite piece, which, what do I think my favorite piece is? I do really like the bird. I really do like the bird, um, but I don't think that that's my favorite. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. I think this one is, um, has like a looseness and uh, freshness and it's just a little bit of um, a little kind of closer to what I envision my plein air painting to be like. Um, it's kind of a combination of my, of like plein air and urban sketch. I feel like it's kind of a, a successful middle ground. So I need to play in this style a little bit more, I think. Um, yeah. So I would love to know what is your favorite piece of, everything I just showed you, uh, which is a lot. Um, yeah. So that's enough blathering from me. And I hope you liked this video, my first uh, monthly art recap here on Patreon. And thank you again so much for being here with me. Um, your support, people say it all the time, but your support is everything. It's everything, honestly. Um, my little baby Patreon here. <laughs> and I thank you. Um, thank you for putting up a cat butts in my face. And I will see you soon. Bye.